will smack that New Year's Revolution. So these are the matches that's going to be the card. It's going to be the match card for SmackDown New Year's Revolution, January 5th. We have EO Sky, the WWE Women's Champion versus Meechin in the AM. Um, that's one match that's going to be announced. Now, question is, who is going to win this particular match? Um, since Me- Meech and she pinned EO Sky tonight in that match, she's going to get an opportunity at the championship. I don't see Mitch and whatever the hell her name is. She's not being EO Sky. And because, you know, Dams Control may come out and defend her. Because EO, let's be honest here. I like EO. She's a talented uh, woman. Great. One of the best on the roster. But she sucks as champion. EO's trash as champion. She don't cut it. She do not cut it when it comes to being a champion. I do not like the way she's booked. And I can't wait till they get this belt off of her. I don't know who's the woman to beat EO, but this Meechin ain't going to do it. But EO do need to lose that belt soon. I don't care if it's Bailey getting off of her. I don't care if it's uh, Jay Cargill getting the belt off her. I don't care if it was anybody like Oscar or Kyrie Zane getting the belt off her own people. Somebody, Bianca, I don't care. Somebody needs to get that belt off of her. That belt is, she's not a good champion. Very overrated. Like I said, she's talented, but she cannot do it as champion. Zone A64 TV, salute, man. Thanks for coming out, man. But like I said, um, I don't see Mitchell winning this belt on SmackDown New Year's Revolution. But EO do need to get that belt off her. That she won the belt at SummerSlam when she cashed in, following a uh, SummerSlam triple threat match with Bianca, Charlotte, and uh, Asuka. Bianca won the match. And she had the shortest title reign. It, you know, storyline hurt. Then EO came in. But she hasn't done nothing with this belt. She has not done nothing with this belt at all, to say the least. Um, I, I just, I, I like EO. She's not a great champion. She's just not. I don't know. You, Maybe it's just my opinion. You guys let me know right now. What do you think as EO Sky is champion? Yay or nay as champion? And I say nay. You guys in the uh, live chat comments says, let me know what you think of EO Sky as champion. She's not a good champion. Every title she every time she defends this belt, Dash Control helps her. I rarely see her defend this belt on its own, if at all. And that's just not a good champion. It, it make her it makes her look weak when Dash Control come out and help her. You know, it's just, no. She's not, uh, I don't buy her as champion. I'm not buying into her as a champion. She was booked better, maybe. I'm just not buying into it. So, no. That's not going to work. But I don't see her losing this belt, though. Now, we got another match that they're going to announce. Another match that they're, uh, I'm going to talk about. We got this match here. We got Kevin Owens versus Santos Escobar for United States Championship Tournament Finals. Whoever wins this match will go off and face Logan Paul, the champion. Now, who could win this match? It seemed like, I don't know who's going to win. Either one of these two guys can win. It could be Santos or Kevin. I believe, if I had to pick right now, it seemed like Kevin Owens got more of a beef with Logan Paul when they cut that promo. I think Kevin may win. Despite Santos got new uh, people with Angel Garza and Herberto helping him, his new compadres, his new posse, I think Kevin's going to still win. I, and I said it before that Kevin Owens may win the whole tournament. So I see Kevin winning. I see Kevin winning this um, tournament, and he's going to face Logan Paul. Now, I don't. I think it's going to be at the Royal Rumble. He's supposed to face Logan Paul, whatever the case may be. Wherever he face him, that's what it is. I think it's Royal Rumble. 
But Kevin Owens is going to win. He had a great match with Carmelo Hayes tonight, like I said earlier. Um, Santos, he cheated. And I don't think that's going to get him. There's no story between Santos and Logan Paul. I mean, his story, honestly, is with Rey Mysterio. And Rey Mysterio is not his tournament. He's still injured. Kevin Owens would make more sense to win storyline-wise because of the promo he cut with Logan Paul last week. So, Kevin Owens talking about Logan Paul. Logan Paul was talking about him. But I got Kevin Owens to win this this match two weeks from now, and he's going to win the whole tournament. Now, that's the second match that was announced for SmackDown New Year's Revolution. One more match, of course. We got... Yeah, you guys also let me know what you think of the matches, what you expect of these matches. Not just uh, one, all, all the matches that are announced. The last match we got here is going to be triple threat match. I t- touched on this earlier. AJ versus Randy versus LA Knight. Whoever wins earns the opportunity at the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship at the Royal Rumble, which we all know is Roman Reigns. Now, this is funny. Randy Orton challenged Roman Reigns last week. And LA Knight said this week he wants to, he ain't done bloodline. AJ Styles just came back last week and attacked LA Knight. And he also wants a uh, Roman. But let's be realistic here. Which one of these three guys is going to face Roman? Which one of these three guys is going to win the triple threat match at SmackDown New Year's Re- Revolution? If I had to go pick, my pick is Randy Orton. Randy will win. Randy's going to win. That's my prediction. Um, I think I, I, it don't make, it makes sense. It makes sense for Randy to win. It makes sense for Randy to win this match. He just challenged Roman. He was out for eighteen months, and he stayed on Raw. Randy has makes it, it will be him to face uh, Roman Reigns at Russell. I mean, I'm sorry, at Royal Rumble for the championship. L.A. Knight already had his shot at Crown Jewel, and he just faced him in November, beginning of November, beginning of last month, and he got screwed. AJ Styles will face Roman, but it'll be at a, a later date. Um, I don't see AJ Styles facing Roman right now, especially he just came back last week. Randy will be the more affordable choice. He's the one that makes sense. I can't see him losing this match. Randy will win this match. He will go on and face Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble for the undisputed WWE Universe Championship match, which he will not win, by the way. Roman will defeat him, whether it's Jimmy or Solo interfering or Roman just does on his own. It don't matter. Randy's not going to beat Roman. But he will win this match to get the opportunity to face Roman. Now, like I said, you guys in live chat, the comment section, let me know who do you think will win this particular triple threat match at SmackDown New Year's Revolution, which is two weeks away from today. Like I said, so we, we're going to have WWE 2024 is going to be lit. I'll say that right now. Matter of fact, the pro wrestling industry is going to be lit. You got TNA going back, you know, Going back to the name TNA, you know, from Impact Wrestling. You got WWE doing their thing. You got NWA supposedly still get this TV deal on a major network. And then there's AEW. And you know how they do. They'll have their stuff going on too. May not be, may not stuff I agree with, but they still have stuff going on. The company will still be around. So we're going to have a good, it's going to be a good match card. I said day one's going to be good. SmackDown New Year's Revolution would be good. That's the way I see it. Um, but my question is, I'm um, asking one last question. Which one would be better? That's the thing. Will it be will it be day one for all? Or will it be SmackDown New Year's Revolution? That's the question. And it's kind of evenly matched. I think they'll both be good. I I think both events will be good. I can't see picking one over the other. A one's pretty stacked. They got some good matches. It seems like SmackDown is going to do the same and follow suit. So this is, like I said, this is a big. It'll be a big year for WWE next year. 
Of course, we got WrestleMania, Royal Rumble coming up. We got Elimination Chamber. We got the new event. We got SummerSlam, Survivor Series, Money in the Bank. And we got the new Bash in the Berlin, new event to compete with AEW's All In. So it'll be definitely uh, lit. But um, that's, uh, that's honestly, that's all I see. That's all I have regarded, though. But like I said, we got three three uh events next for that following week day one nxt new year's evil and smackdown new year's revolution and i think um i think it's gonna be a great great week for wrestling and a good way to kick off the new year definitely um and that's all i have regarding wrestling week news day and night the card of New Year's Revolution card and Cody Rhodes contract. You guys in the comment section, let me know what you think of that. Soon two videos will pop up. One video will be former WWE Women's Champion, WWE Contract Negotiations. Second video will be Rey Mysterio, WWE Status Change. You guys be safe out there this holiday weekend. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year's to you all. Until then, it is O-U-T.